Hi, I'm Aaron. Welcome to More Than The Sum. Today I'm going to show you how to spice up your jack-o'-lantern by adding some glowing eyes, a flickering candle, and some spooky Halloween music. To get started, we visited the annual pumpkin festival at Cal Poly Pomona. While we were there, we took in some cool sights and found some great pumpkins. Next, I cleaned and carved the pumpkin and I made sure to cut eyes that were big enough to fit the lights that I was going to stick in there later. For the brains of this project, we used two Arduino Unos. One of them is going to power the lights, the other one will be powering the sound. So first we're going to make the eyes, and I got some special connectors uh, for LED strips, and the goal was to do this without soldering, so I took one of them and cut the ends off and hot glued on some jumper wires so that I could plug it straight into the Arduino. And I use the ends to clip in the LED strips and when you do so you have to pay attention to the direction of the arrows and so they're pointing in this case to the right away from those jumper wires. I took another one of those connectors and cut the end off and, and stripped the end with the scissors so I could glue on the jumper wires. This additional connector is going to allow us to connect four LEDs that we're going to use to program and control a candle that will stick inside the pumpkin. I wanted to test to see these connectors worked well so I used a multimeter to test the conductivity and you can hear those beeps indicating that there's a good connection. The last piece that needed to be prepared before we could build the circuit was the speaker. I used a little piezo buzzer, but you could use any speaker you have lying around. I bent the ends of some jumper wires and glued them in place. I had to hold them a while and let it set so that they wouldn't come loose while it was drying. Initially I tried to build this circuit with using just one Arduino, but I don't think it's possible to have one Arduino control both the LED strips and the speaker because they have some conflicts, and so I used two instead. One of them controls the lights and the other one controls the sound the music. Now it's time to upload the code to the Arduino, so I ran it. Once I started going, I realized I'd connected the LEDs to the wrong pins. The ones that were supposed to be the eyes were acting like the candle, and vice versa. I went back and edited the code so I could switch the pins they were connected to, and then I re-uploaded it and it all worked great from there. I connected the board that was hooked up to the speaker and ran the code for this song. This one was also connected in the wrong spot, so I just went ahead and moved it instead of waiting for the code to run again. For the song, I used the theme from the movie Halloween, and the code you see up here are the frequencies of all the notes from the song. And then down here we have the notes in the order they are played. We also have the total number of notes in the song and the length of the notes. It's pretty simple to go back and change out the song just by replacing the notes and then updating the frequencies and the number of notes as well. The Arduino has a sp spot where you can plug in a DC adapter, but the simplest way to power this is just using a cell phone power bank. You can see how quick it is. You just plug it in with the USB port right into the Arduino, 
and it will fire right up. All that's left is to put it all together. I used a rubber band to hold the Arduinos and the breadboard together and then place them inside a plastic bag to keep them from getting pumpkin all over them. I also wrapped the LEDs for the lights in a little bit of wax paper to diffuse the light so that you wouldn't see the pixels as much as the glowing light itself. Finally, I stuck the electronics inside the pumpkin and I used a couple of pieces of paper clip and folded them kind of like staples so I could hold the eyes in place. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you're interested in building this yourself, there's some information linked down below. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and click the subscribe button if you want to see future content. Thank you.